First tonight, 100 years since a peace treaty was signed to end the First World War, the nation's getting ready to remember the hundreds of thousands of lives lost. Yes, ahead of Armistice Day on Sunday, people across the British Isles have begun to mark the centenary, and the Channel Islands are no exception. All this week, we've brought you stories from islanders on their connections to the Great War. Tonight, we're delving into the history of Jersey's Victoria College, which lost 126 of its own during the war. and Charles, better known as Stanley Mossop, brothers and best friends who went from students at Jersey's Victoria College to Royal Naval pilots in the First World War. They were very young men, I mean they were you know in their late teens, early twenties and they were putting themselves through unimaginable stresses and strains. Peter is Edward Mossop's grandson. He too went to Vic College, as his son Matthew does now. Together, they've been learning about their forefathers' experience of the Great War and how, after a close shave for Edward in the North Sea, things may have been very different. He was involved in a, in a dramatic um, sea battle where five German fighters attacked his seaplane. Two of his crew were killed. Um, he managed to save the others. Um, he had a carrier pigeon. They all had a couple of carrier pigeons on the planes and he tied a message to the leg of one of them and set it off. And uh, it got back to base and a ship appeared over the horizon and rescued them. So we're both here thanks to that carrier pigeon. Otherwise uh, we wouldn't exist. They wouldn't have made it. <laughs> But sadly, unlike his brother Edward, Stanley didn't survive the war, having been awarded a Distinction Service Cross for bombing a submarine. On his way back from a short trip to Jersey, his plane crashed in France. Earlier this year, on the 100th anniversary of his death, Peter and Matthew went to visit his grave. Quite strange, really, because it was someone we'd never met, but we sort of knew everything they'd done. So. It's quite interesting seeing that, seeing where he was buried and where his co-pilot was buried, sort of finally paying respects to them. They're all young men, they didn't really get to finish life, I guess. They all died before their time. Just two of the Jerseymen we will give thanks to this Armistice Day. <laughs>